What about place? What's your favorite place? Favorite place? I don't know about a favorite place, but I think if I had to recommend a place, I think I, I'm thinking about Shanghai or Shanghai. Mm. Just because I think southern China is really wonderful and beautiful. I'm a little biased because of the smog that is covering <laughs> northern China. <laughs> um, but Shanghai is like a really international city and it's very modern and as a pampered American suburban, <laughs> I, I can't not live without modernness. <laughs> it's not true. It's got everything you need. It has tall buildings, a beautiful metro, and science museums. And Disney World now, apparently, which I'm really mad. They built it like the really? year after I visited China and like <laughs> after I was in Shanghai. That sucks. Mm. Obviously, I'm not recommending Beijing, the capital. Everybody Why? knows Beijing, oh. first of all. It has all the classic okay. things, but also because like you can't see the sun many days of the year, so. Shanghai's near the ocean. <laughs> Everyone loves a good ocean. I do love a good ocean. <laughs> do you love me a good ocean? What about you? Um, you know, I had something on my paper, but I think one of my favorite places to go in India is um, a teeny little town called Annavaram. Um, it's like about a seven hour train ride away from Hyderabad, which is the capital of Andhra Pradesh. Um, and my mom's parents, so my grandparents on my mom's side, um, live there, mm -hmm. um, and it's also home to one of the largest Hindu temples in all of India. Um, so it's like a major tourist spot for that reason. So a lot of people come up, um, and like lately it's become a really like commercialized and commodified, but I remember when I was younger, we spent so much time in Anavadam, um, like just hanging at my grandmother's house and sometimes like hopping a couple fences to get to like this abandoned school across the street, um, and like pretending we were teachers with like chalk on the chalkboard and stuff like that. Um, and I just have a lot of really good memories there. Um, it's just a good, good, good village, you know? <laughs> like, it's just a good place. Um, and also, like, if you're into Hinduism, like, the temple's right there. Um, and it's a huge, huge temple. Um, like I said, it's become kind of commodified and a little commercialized now, which I'm a little disappointed by. Like, I'm not, like, a practicing Hindu, but I love going to temples because of, like, the, the feeling of, like, peacefulness and, like, calmness it gives me. And I haven't felt that good about a temple in a really long time mm. since I've been there. Um, it's a good place. Mm. I see, I see. Food. <laughs> well, we went to Hyderabad over the summer. Um, there, <laughs> I really, really, really wanted Mexican food. The, um, oh, what was it? Zamatoed, which is the Indian version of Yelp. Um, we Zamatoed around for Mexican restaurants, and my brother found this restaurant that will forever haunt me. <laughs> And it's called Chipotle, <laughs> but with an E instead of an I. Um, Is that legal? I don't know. And immediately I was like, we have to go there. <laughs> like. That is the one place. It's on my India bucket list. Like, oh my god, How I How many do stars it. would you give it? It was honestly Okay, so let me let me tell you the whole story. Pouring down rain, because we went during the rainy season, uh, traffic was blocked for like miles and miles. The auto driver that we were with eventually just like dropped us off like two miles away and was like, you can walk. <laughs> like, I'm not doing this anymore. We're like, okay, thanks. Um, walked the entire way there, discovered that it was a food truck and not an actual restaurant, and then ordered our food and sat down and ate it. And I would truly give it like a strictly okay three stars. <laughs> like, it was fine. <laughs> I really like this food called Tsongzi which is often translated as sticky rice dumplings. And they're wrapped and they're steamed in bamboo leaves and they, it's rice like mixed with other things. So sometimes they have like mushrooms or beans or nuts or meat or eggs or um... <laughs> so wonderful and very hard to find. <laughs> 